It's Friday the 10th of July and I thought it might be a good time to give a little bit of a review of what's been going on down the beer cellar over the past couple of weeks. Um, I'll explain this mess in a moment. Uh, the right hand wall is finished so um, I think the last time I had done the um, sandblasting cleaned off the stones fairly okay although it was a bit of a weak compressor. Uh, but they cleaned up okay and uh, we repointed them with Trass cement mortar uh, which is a bit more of an old fashioned type mortar and that's dried off quite nicely uh, bottom rows are still a bit damp because they're only done a couple of days ago and then uh, last night I finished off um, on the left hand side we decided basically to plaster the top half of it with a lime based plaster so it's really breathable and natural and all that um, and the bottom part we just basically tacked out the old mortar and repointed that yesterday. So uh, nice contrast there, pretty it doesn't stay like that. Um, and the plaster we're going to use, um, I didn't pay attention buying it, but it's uh, basically red uh, lime plaster. So there's um, crushed uh, old tiles mixed into it, so like an old tile powder, which gives it a, a light kind of reddish brown tinge, um, which could be nice actually. So it might be a bit of a contrast to all the, the gray limestone. And um, so, yeah, we, we'll plaster bits and pieces of the, the ceiling as well to just, well, clean it up, basically make it cleaner. And um, that, that should look nice as well. But the floor looks like a complete mess uh, because uh, if you remember the last video, and you can always check back on links, um, it was kind of like rubbly stuff. It was, uh, yeah, what they call shutter here. So bits of stone and it was clay and stuff. And... Uh, that had been underneath a, a pile of a, a basically concrete floor that was here when we bought the house. And I found a couple of uh, big sandstone slabs and I thought that was kind of it. But while working away uh, doing the repointing, kind of bits of the floor were sounding hollow. And um, it turned out there was more of these slabs. So basically I cleaned back the entire uh, floor surface and exposed uh, the original floor. Um, I should have made a video of that actually, but um, if you check the associated blog post, there'll be photos up there of what that looked like. It wasn't really a very nice floor, so left and right there was these, so that big slab, that's 1.2 by 1 metres, and uh, pretty heavy. <laughs> I shouldn't have been lifting it on my own. Uh, and that was over there in the, in the left-hand corner. Uh, so there's basically nice sandstone slabs on the left and the right, and in the middle then there was a row of uh, limestone blocks. And... Uh, once they're lifted underneath, it was basically, we can see it there, kind of cracked um, clay. So in the corner there, it, back there, it's really damp. And here it's a little bit drier. Um, so anyway, the, with the archaeology done and everything uh, recorded, photographed nicely and uh, lifted, um, we're going to basically use these slabs probably somewhere else to make a table. Well, that big one can definitely be used as a table out in the garden. And uh, maybe some of the smaller ones I'll use in here, um, either for the floor or to do some decorative features. But uh, yeah, essentially now the plan is to, to build up the floor level. Uh, once the plastering is done, uh, build up the floor level with uh, expanded clay pellets or clay aggregate uh, to act as a kind of a sump zone. And on top of that, then uh, geotextile. And then on top of that, uh, not sand, but uh, I don't know what it's called in English. Split, they call it here. Um, and on top of that then, um, movement, <laughs> on top of that then, um, yeah, something like bricks or terracotta tiles or something like that. Again, main idea is to keep it breathable instead of sealing it, uh, sealing all that dampness down underneath. And, uh, essentially that'll be done. But first, get the plastering done and I plan on doing that, uh, tomorrow. Uh, but yeah, coming on, I'm quite pleased with this, uh, Somebody said, well, it's only a seller. I keep putting an awful lot of work into it. But I think if a job is worth doing, it's worth doing well. And it's also fun. So, yeah, let's have a look back uh, in another couple of days once the plastering is done. And uh, see if it's as nice as I hope it is.